Hello students. Let's continue with patterns of square numbers in the chapter squares and square roots. Let's move to a pattern. The squares of odd numbers are expressed as the sum of two consecutive whole numbers. In this pattern 3 square equals 9, which can be written as 4 plus 5. Let's see how do we do that. We can express 4 as 9 minus 1, whole divided by 2, and 5 as 9 plus 1, whole divided by 2, which is equal to 3 square minus 1, whole divided by 2, plus 3 square plus 1, whole divided by 2. Similarly, we can express the square of any odd number as the sum of two consecutive whole numbers. That is, if n is an odd number, then n square can be expressed as n square equals n square minus 1 whole divided by 2 plus n square plus 1 whole divided by 2. Now can you express 13 square as the sum of two consecutive natural numbers, as in pattern. Let's try. We have the form n square equals n square minus 1 whole divided by 2 plus n square plus 1 whole divided by 2. Here n equals 13. That is, 13 square equals 13 square minus 1 whole divided by 2 plus 13 square, plus 1 whole divided by 2, equals 169, minus 1, whole divided by 2, plus 169, plus 1, whole divided by 2, equals 168, divided by 2, plus 170, divided by 2, equals 84, plus 85, Next, we move our attention to the product of the consecutive even or odd natural numbers. Let's start with the first two odd numbers. That is 1 and 3. We know 1 multiplied by 3 equals 3. We can rearrange 1 as 2 minus 1 and 3 as 2 plus 1. So, 1 multiplied by 3 equals 2 minus 1 multiplied by 2 plus 1 equals 2 square minus 1 square equals 2 square minus 1 equals 3. Then consider the first two even numbers, that is 2 and 4. We know 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. We can rearrange 2 as 3 minus 1 and 4 as 3 plus 1. So, 2 multiplied by 4 equals 3 minus 1 multiplied by 3 plus 1 equals 3 square minus 1 square equals 3 square minus 1 equals 8. Similarly, we can write 5 multiplied by 7 equals 6 minus 1 multiplied by 6 plus 1 equals 6 square minus 1 equals 35. 6 multiplied by 8 equals 7 minus 1 multiplied by 7 plus 1 equals 7 square minus 1 equals 48. That is when we consider 1 and 3, 2 is the number between 1 and 3. So, 1 multiplied by 3 equals 2 minus 1 multiplied by 2 plus 1 equals 2 square minus 1. Like that, 3 is the number between 2 and 4. So, 2 multiplied by 4 equals 3 minus 1 
multiplied by 3 plus 1 equals 3 square minus 1. Similarly, 6 is the number between 5 and 7. So, 5 multiplied by 7 equals 6 minus 1 multiplied by 6 plus 1 equals 6 square minus 1. Thus, we can generalize n minus 1 multiplied by n plus 1 equals n square minus 1. Where n is the number between two consecutive even numbers or odd numbers. That is, the product of two consecutive odd numbers or even numbers can be expressed as a perfect square minus 1. Let's recall what we learned. We have discussed some interesting patterns. Square of odd numbers as the sum of consecutive natural numbers. The product of two consecutive odd numbers or even numbers can be expressed as a perfect square minus 1. Before winding up, I will give activity to you. Observe this pattern carefully and try to find out the missing numbers. That's all for now, see you all in the next class.